Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends movie Homecoming Spider-Man from the Vulture Wave. Um, it's a very cool Spider-Man. This was requested months ago. I mean, probably three or four months ago. So I'm sorry how long it's taken me to get to this guy. Something's wrong with my swivel base. I'm convinced now because it seems like every figure falls down. So I'll mess with that later. Um, it's a very cool uh, Spider-Man. I'm just going to go right into the details. So we're going to just kind of wing it here. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, overall, I think it's a really nice Spider-Man, like I was saying. Um, it's got a good sculpt to it all around. Um, I don't know if this, let me see if I can get this light to pick it up and see what I've shown you. Yeah, you can kind of see it, I hope. See all that texturing, like on the red suit, like on the face, you can see it almost got like, you can just see some of the sculpting on there, kind of giving it that um, stretching material look. I think that's awesome. And that's throughout the figure. So if you look at the even the blue, I hope you guys can see it, but you can kind of see the netting look of like the stretching of the material. I think that's so cool. I mean, it's all throughout, even on the legs. So you can kind of see it. It looks really cool. I, I really like that about the figure. I know it's such a small, minute thing, but I just think that adds a little bit more like realistic look to them. Uh, I think that's really cool. And all the webbing is nicely sculpted. Um, it's got kind of not really a black, paint in the webbing uh, or in the sculpt it's more of like a i wanted to like a light gray it's it's very interesting um and different it's not just a straight black throughout it's got black around his eyes and then the white eyes but and it gets a little darker here i'm sure my camera makes it look black but in person it's kind of like a almost like a light it's just a light gray to me especially if you look at it compared to the black lining here and on the black spider it looks lighter around his neck for some reason is coming out a lot darker but it's very really cool i love how the webbing looks i think that looks great see here it looks a little light gray but it goes all the webbing goes all the way up his neck continues around the shoulders here i think this looks good i love this classic spider look and it's more kind of risen but it's sculpted also looks really good these lines here these black these like lighter you know grayish kind of lines these are all painted on those aren't sculpted same thing on the legs here. Those aren't sculpted, but I love that texturing. It looks so cool. But over here, it looks really good. It's a little belt kind of look. You kind of see like black the black sculpt like kind of popping out. I really like how the web shooters came out too. So you can kind of see them right there. There's not really any paint detailing on them, but I like how you can at least see the shape of them. I think that's cool. Uh, it does have the red peg, so you will have you know the red that's in the blue. I don't think there's, but see, it looks good here. So I guess they had to pick or choose, like do they want red or blue on the outside. So I think that looks good with the red uh, on the outside and having the blue, I mean, having it be red and blue on the inside of the arm. I think that's that was uh, worth it. Um, kind of continuing down, you can just see more of the webbing. It's just, it's a really detailed figure. I mean, it's really nice, it's a nice movie Spider-Man. So I'll show you his accessories. I usually do those first, but I didn't this time. He's got the squinting eyes. I think that's cool. It's got the more black around. And he comes with two uh, the flipping hands and the little webbings. I don't actually use these because mine, they just don't peg in very well. Um, that's just what I've noticed. And they look kind of funny to me. So when I bring his arm down, so that's kind of the there's just not a lot of poses I can do with him having his arms just kind of open like that, unless I was doing maybe a, a jumping, like a gliding pose, which I haven't had him doing. I'm just kind of, I kind of have him up there with, you know, my uh, movie Avengers kind of more, almost like a Civil War look. So I'm kind of behind, but um, yeah, I just, I don't use them. They peg in one spot. So when you lift his arm up too high, it, it just looks goofy to me. If it was bigger, maybe almost like a banshee look where it kind of connected more it's kind of like in the movie. I feel like it's in the movie. It was a lot larger, so I don't really use these. So, but otherwise it's a nice little touch. It was a good, you know, good look like, or a good try. Um, but I, I don't see the purpose in using them for at least for what I have them, uh, displayed for. I'm going to pop the other head on so you guys can see what that looks like. So kind of, it's kind of more very similar to the three pack one, which I forgot to grab. So I do not have that one with me, but I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I, I like the bigger eyes, but it's still cool to have, you know, the alternate head, especially 
if that's what you know you like the other eyes better it's you know it's just always nice to have those options all right i'll show you guys i'll talk or i'll actually I'll go over the articulation man i'm kind of messed up tonight this head looks very far up which is great it looks down really far you're actually kind of looking down pretty good uh, it looks left and right and kind of head bobble got the armpit joint which is awesome Can move up down forward and back it's got an upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist rotation along with the hinge at the wrist got a nice ab crunch and crunch it back very far and continues the sculpt which is always nice got a waist swivel kick very high up cannot do the splits it's kind of a bummer got an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees no boot rotation ankles move down move up with a nice ankle rocker and pickles the bottom of his feet so you can kind of see more of that gray i'm talking about sorry if i'm obsessing but i kind of want to show you guys that it's not black i promise <laughs> i'm not colorblind all right i'll show you guys how tall uh, spider-man is all right guys so spider-man stands just about five and a half a little over five and a half inches tall it's gonna be a fun little comparison i actually brought down most of the movie figures so here he is next to the first toby mcguire uh, spider-man movie figure it's a little loose in the ankle so hopefully he stays standing there we go and here he is next to the spider-man 2 toby Maguire. so he's got i like this one a lot more to be honest it's got more of an updated neck articulation and then here he is next to the ultimate green goblin but the um, amazing spider-man movie figure from hasbro all right guys sorry about that um kids woke up so i had to pause it but yeah, so here he is um, with all the other kind of movie Spider-Mans besides the three-pack one. Um, overall, he's definitely an awesome Spider-Man, um, but it's kind of neat to have the variations from all the different Spider-Man movies kind of set up together. But there you go, guys. That's my review. I'm sure you guys have already picked him up. I know he's kind of been out for a while, but um, that would just be kind of a cool comparison to do. So let me know what you guys think, or which movie Spider-Man do you guys like? Do you like some of the older Toy Biz ones more? Do you like the Amazing Spider-Man, or do you like the current Homecoming one? Just leave it in the comments. I'm just kind of curious. All right, guys. Hope you have a great night. Take care. Bye.